Hello and welcome to the early morning podcast. Uh, we got, you know what I'm saying? We got the new fucking, we got the new studio shit coming. We got the new setup coming. You know what I'm saying? We got guests coming. We got whatever you want coming. You got your mother coming. Everybody's coming right now, okay? Uh, I'm learning more and more about this shit, how to use the mic, how to fucking use these fucking programs and shit. And, you know, it's coming together, dude. I said, we're not, I told you, we're not gonna, you know, uh, beanbag this shit. We're gonna go fucking full bag. We're going in on it, dude. This is a, this is a, you know, we're, gonna, we're committing full hand, you know, me and like I said, the homies, the the producer, shout out A, D I L I N O I A I R E, fuck that up probably, and uh, at D Y L L A N K E L E H E R, fuck that up too, probably underscore, um, you know, we got, you know, we got people coming through, dude, every, everybody and their mother literally is coming through to help, dude, and, and that's all, that's all we can be, you know, what else am I gonna ask for, dude, you know, we're just trying to do this podcast for fun, we're doing it as a, as a hobby, we're trying to, you know, you know, build bridges, you know, I mean, like I said, shout out Truly, Truly help, you know, they, they bring people together, uh, Discord brings people together, so, we, we know, we're, we're trying to, trying to build we're trying to grow that's how this works my professors they're talking about bone growth dude you can look that up on google you can't look this shit up on google you have to look this shit up on youtube okay or if you find another you know you know another kind of what's it called setting or application that uh provides access to this this podcast which shout out to my producer if you can fucking do that gang gang dude like i said dude that'd be awesome but uh, truly did sponsor this uh, unofficially. If you want to truly enjoy a beverage, uh, a hard seltzer will definitely do the job. And uh, you got a variety of flavors from black cherry to lemonade to grapefruit. You know, just enjoy it truly. Yeah, man, it's up to you, dude. And it's up to you to also use Discord. I t- today I had to use a dude today, man fuck man today i had a i had a uh a, a math exam via zoom and it's so fucking awkward in the first place dude yeah, i mean my teacher she's she's of um you know she's from the eastern world okay we'll say that and she you know she just sits there with her camera on and it looks literally like she's in her closet i don't know where she is but it just looks like she's tucked in her closet or something and uh, I, we, everybody else has to have their camera open as well. And she's just sitting there looking at you, man. And you have an hour and a half to do an exam. And it's fucking, I fucking, I'm shit at math, dude. Fuck math, okay? If you listen to this podcast and you like math, man, that we don't have beef, but like there's, we have differences. I'll just say that, okay? Math, not not is it only not my strong suit but it is something that i have like a a legitimate dislike and like i feel i feel like i have i feel defensive towards it man i feel like i literally want to physically attack mathematics if i could and especially algebra dude because when they bring in the fuck and i've talked about this before dude i've mentioned this so many fucking times but it doesn't matter i'll talk about it again and it, when they bring in the number, I mean the letters, dude, and they they're bringing up X, Y, Z, P, Q, R, and T. It's over with, dude. What are we doing? Are we doing English or are we doing math? That's what that's what I always think. I'm like, what? Wait, hold on, hold on. What subject am I in? When I was in high school and we were doing that, I was like, hold on, wait, wait. Am I in the wrong period? Right? Is this the wrong period? Am I supposed to be in third period English? Freaking 120, or am I supposed to be in algebra? uh 110 right now fourth period because you you just talked about an x and a a a cube x and something about that and what the fuck does that even mean and you know and then imagine when they bring in the imaginary numbers which i've been going into you know the paul this is fuck math dude 
fuck math. I just want to get that out there. I mean, fuck math, dude. And if you like math, again, we just, I don't, we don't have beef or there's no problems between you and I as a listener or as a, as a, as me being that like, you know, making this, there's no problems with us, dude. But the problem is that I, I don't, I have problems with math and mathematics. I, I don't sometimes see the purpose in some of the subjects I learn or the topics I learn and specifically in the way that they're taught, especially it's another way, but that's another fucking topic, dude. We're not here to talk about that, dude. We're not here to talk about what the benefits and the pros and cons of being taught math and algebra in, in high school and college or dude you could be in kindergarten right now and that math is the math that you need for the fundamentals of the rest of your life up maybe i'll get i'll I'll go up to second grade second grade where you can do multiplication dog once you can do multiplication division you're set dude what what more what like what else are you gonna do dude Uh, yeah fractions we did yeah fractions happen okay cool real world where you never do fractions in the real world never Okay. Unless you're literally breaking up pieces of wood, trying to fraction a piece of wood into eighths or something. I don't know. Or you're a drug dealer and you're trying to break up a brick of cocaine into eighths. Okay. Into, you know, that again, another story, dude, that, that, the, the, the point, the point is math right now, how it's being taught and how, and just how it is in the, in the world, man, how, how it's viewed it's it's weird to me man okay and i like i said again on this podcast fuck math that's that's kind of what we stand by uh, as of now but um other subjects dude i fucking love history dude history will teach you as much as you need to know about your life really if you if you don't know about yourself look into history there's a bunch of people that didn't know about themselves either and a bunch of people that did and you can you can literally view their accounts and listen to them not really listen to them but you can read them you can definitely read them and you can you can learn a lot about them and that can teach you a lot about yourself as well so that's what I mean I talked about previously on the podcast an individual named Roy Cohen and a documentary called Where's My Roy Cohen where uh it's I mean that's a it's a kind of historical. I mean it talks about a very influential individual lawyer, uh, politician even, that uh that you know has that still has relevant influence. So if you there's people like I mean if you, you know your Bill of Rights and you know the Constitution, if you live in the United States, if, if you live in Canada, dude, you're probably growing. A couple, might have like two strains of indica. Strain of sativa and a strain of a, a hybrid, a hybrid strain. So you probably got like five plants in your backyard, four plants. My math, I don't even know if my math is right or wrong on that. I don't care. But you, you're just growing a few different strains, different kinds of shit. And you're chilling, you know, Trudeau. Trudeau, he's baked all the time. You know, your man's, your prime minister, I think that's what he's called or whatever the fuck, dude. He's not the president or governor, but... um. Yeah, if you're in Canada, yeah, none of this really applies to you because your laws are way more chill. Um, I've heard Delia talk about this, and I'm not trying to bite off that at all, but Delia said how he's mentioned how the, the the crosswalks in Canada are even more laid back, and that's fucking amazing. The, the If you press the crosswalk button on, on the street, the guy is tilted back with his arms kind of upward, like he's literally like about to chill, chill out. And in America, it's like a person like mid, mid, like he's like focused mid, like mid, not, I was going to say mid stroke just because that's what came to mind, but that's wrong. Fuck. But yeah, he was supposed to, it's like, he's going mid fucking sprint almost. And the guy, Canada is just like, no, dude, we're chilling, bro. What do I mean? What are we really run, running? Or what is there to run from right now? I mean, yeah, we got to get somewhere, but we'll get there, dude. That's just how, that's like literally the Canadian perspective is like, okay, dude, we got something to do, but like, we'll do it eventually. Like, I mean, it's, it's whatever, like it'll happen. We'll make it happen when it happens. Dude. That's it. I mean, it, in the U S dude, like, it's like if this shit's not done in within an hour, you, your life's probably over, you know, 
if you want to just want to give it on like a scale that i mean that that you you can have that you know i have friends right now people that uh they they had jobs steady jobs and then just what done gone their loss loss of job loss of employment but Canada would be like, nah, dude, I mean, we got you, you know, we'll, I mean, for a little bit, you can still fucking work under the table or whatever, I mean, my wife, she's come, been complaining and shit, so if you fucking take her out a couple times, like, it'll be fine, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll work, they'll work around, you know, they'll work around the guidelines, but they'll also, like, make it, like, reasonable, if you know what I'm saying, like, it's not like, they're not stretching shit, they're not fucking drugging you, you know, they're not fucking pulling a what's it called um epstein or some shit like that like they're 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 keeping shit chill over there and everybody in canada's chill dude i saw a video of a guy of a canadian driver getting pulled over in america and he had all his right paperwork he had all his right fucking insurance he was driving a lamborghini he was decked out and dude he was so composed and so chill in during be like during the interaction with the officer and it was a beverly hills fucking cop you know being so fucking rude for no reason man like literally no reason him coming at him like asking him not even asking telling him he had a warrant which was falsified like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna go on like you can watch this fucking guy's video just literally look look up Lamborghini Beverly Hills or something, or Beverly Hills Cop Lamborghini, and it's just, I don't know, it's, it's Canada's more chill, dude, all right, Nick, if you have, you know Nick A30, dude, that guy's one of the nicest, maybe he's a scammer, though, I've heard that he's a scammer, man, I used to watch this guy, Nick A30, Nick A30 is a, uh, he used to be a YouTube, uh, uh, streamer slash gamer he used to make videos fortnite videos he started with h1n1 and uh or is it h1z1 whatever the fuck the one the, the one that's not the virus the real virus the one that's a playstation game he uh, started playing that and uh got some popularity with that and then uh he was really good at fortnite so i started watching his fortnite streams anyway the guy was like almost over the top straight edge and like the most gen like not generous just the most good soul whatever uh, the guy you would fucking hate in third grade because he's just like too perfect you know like this is how that guy's character was all the time and it was annoying as fuck dude but he was a good gamer he was really good at gaming and sometimes he would you know come up with a corny ass cringy ass joke that you would somehow appreciate just because it was like ah all right i mean yeah, it makes sense. It's kind of funny, but you shouldn't have fucking said it anyway still. But whatever. He uh, switched to Twitch, dude. He switched to Twatch, dude. He, he's got a twat now. And uh, he he went through. He, he did the transition, dude. He made that switch to Twitch. And uh, he removed what he had. No, I'm joking. No, he's still a male. He's, it's Nick A30, not... Uh, uh, what's it called? Nicoletta. He's still Nick Nick A thirty, Nicholas A thirty. And he's still on Twitch, but he 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 lost so much fucking like viewership and respect amongst the gaming community for selling out from YouTube. He used to get on average twenty five thousand views a day or per stream I mean, rather live per live stream on, on YouTube. And that was literally per stream. He would do two streams sometimes a day for four hours each. And now, if he, I, I've, you know, I don't support him, man. I don't support sellouts. I love, like I said, I, I like Canadians. I was just talking about how great Canadians are, dude. But he fucking sold out, went to Twatch, and now he's got 9,000, if he's lucky, per stream, dude, consecutive. It dips between nine and seven, you know. And that's just like my math exam, man. I, I, I was dipping in confidence on certain, you know, certain questions, polynomials, and how to break down the logarithm of certain bullshit, and like I said, shit that doesn't matter, dude, I, if, as long as I know how to fucking divide and multiply, then I'm fine, dude, I am fine, I'll be okay, dude, I have truly unof unofficially sponsors this podcast, okay, 
So if you really want to truly enjoy a beverage, grab a truly hard seltzer, okay? You could have a black cherry, you could have a mango, you could have a lemonade, you could have a grapefruit, you could, you, even lime. If you like Sprite, grab the lime flavor, dude. Whatever it is that you feel like, you know, drinking, I'm just saying, do that. And if you want to communicate with your friends, hop on Discord, dude. Join the Discord server. If you really want to, like, have super crazy fucking benefits and uh, accessibilities, do the do the uh, Discord, uh, not plus, I forgot what it's called, but... It, it's sick, dude. Okay, you, all right. Just get don't don't use Zoom, dude. Don't don't take chances of getting hacked. Don't be fucking getting stared out by your by your professor and stuff. Unless you really need to. If you need to, I get it, man. You keep grinding, keep hustling. But until next time, do what it is you do. Grab a drink, grab a brew, grab a soak, light up, peace.